Welcome back, everybody. Eduardo joined here by Noah, and I'm just glad you at home got Toby through that. Right, we gotta we gotta have hope here, and and finally we got it. I'm so excited. We did it together, and also we have some missing buddies. We have some uh, a lot of stuff to unpack here. Um, we have big decisions to make, um, but really, that like. <laughs> I mean, it just vanished, apparently. I mean, that's totally normal. Um, as well as, you know, the audience majorly choosing to, you know, give blood to the stranger. What was that? Like, just, <laughs> you chose that, oh, but just, oh, no, this person's asking for blood. That's probably a totally normal thing to do. <laughs> right, and it was so satisfying also to see Rachel apologize uh, because of y'all's uh, decision. Um, to me, she was like, I suck, okay? Uh, join my cult anyway. <laughs> like, I admit, I suck, but at least I admit it. Well, that's one thing, right? She show, you, you, the audience shows the path of redemption. Part of that is, is admitting when you are a horrible person. Now, that said, that's not the video that we're going to rewatch just now. So, so one of the things is today we actually saw Toby's like, you know, trying to get out of there, tries to leave town, but Joy's appearing and going like, let's have some second thoughts about the recruitment. Her production team's going to throw back that scene. Uh, essentially and here's the thing though like <laughs> imagine you're Toby right you're like there's all this fog all this nonsense going on and you're like clearly I gotta get out of here there's something uh, and then uh, your dead sister just uh, keeps coming up she, she's relentless like I wonder what she was like we didn't really meet her when she was alive uh, I wonder if she was as clingy um that's a tough thing to live with and no wonder you know they both share uh, the disease of alcoholism uh it seems no another time will uh, i'm not a doctor i won't diagnose them but you know it does appear to be this way um and they did have that uh bond in their escape methods uh in their coping mechanisms and i think he really like uh, th that's why she lingers you know she really represents something dark in himself right i don't know well i mean that's the thing right why why <laughs> does she keep appearing now the, the thing with me as well in that scene as, as we see the end of it i i think you, you were talking about your noah you were talking about your big krista was right there at the door waiting to get toby inside yeah, she's like, oh, Toby, come in. It's cold outside. You know, hang out with me. <laughs> she was being real sad. I like that classic Krista to me. That's really, that was a classic Krista move. But I'm wondering really where that's going as well, because, you know, I really do love those threads too. No. I, I mean, that's the thing, right? Toby joining the foundation that's clearly moving the story in a direction. Um, I mean, Toby started attacking the foundation, so joining it clearly. Uh, given Toby's mindset, given everything that's going on, I, I can't imagine that outcome being um, ending that great. But uh, again, I promise you no spoilers here. It's just that, you know, doing the cult where your sister died, probably not a good outcome regardless. Uh, good life advice, by the way, if you ever have to take it. I hope you never use it. But now that's the thing is, we talked quickly about Toby here. We talked as well as we came out that you succeeded in the endurance scene. So that's one of the things is uh, Noah's going to actually have a chance to explain to you again our, our fate and hope here, uh, essentially. We'll, we'll get to that decision where Astrid is essentially going to tell Carl about the Ingrid's missing corpse because that's definitely a thing. But for now, focusing on essentially Toby uh, and, and that side of uh, and the hope going up, essentially. Right. So the again, the decisions, the endurance streams, like we just had, and the puzzles, all of those contribute to you gaining influence points, and this will contribute to whether a character will face a redemption, suffering, or domination in the Silent Hill Ascension final. So um, their fate is decided across the length of the season, as you, as you know, um, and the characters hope needs to be high enough for them to survive crucial story moments um and that's really like you know it's not only satisfying to participate it's it, like it's actually you're contributing to the story by uh, engaging with those puzzles with those endurance streams 
Yeah, that's the thing, right? It's, it's, it, for example, let's say you wanted Toby to, to survive. It's not just about you wanting that in the decisions. It's also about you having to, to make those, uh, those, those decisions, essentially, in terms of partaking in the endurance scenes and taking part in the mindfulness puzzles. We're actually going to talk about the mindfulness puzzles in about 10-ish minutes, so we'll tell you much more about them. But the thing is, um, we all, you know, that's the side of virtue. Sometimes you just want to see a character die. So if you really want to see them die, go down the damnation path. And for your suffering and joys out there, that's essentially them surviving but being miserable all the time, which might be the greatest parallel to real life living in a town like one of the ones we keep seeing on your screens day after uh, day. Right. Explain really that hope and fate element again in the wider context of things. Yeah, right. It, it's this idea, right, of a collective delusion. It's this idea of, you know, you see the scenes and, and we give you decisions to do. Sometimes we give you some time, right? We give you like, sometimes as short as a day, but like, so, you know, important decisions take time. Sometimes it takes a week. I want to make sure everybody in the audience has time to understand the context, gets to see the scenes, gets to get to a point where they understand the characters before deciding what they like to see. But, I mean, characters don't live in just days or weeks. They live across a longer period of time. So a big thing about the decisions you're making is we wanted to make sure to track what you as an audience want for these characters, what you want to see essentially them do, and make sure that their outcomes is based kind of that collective sum of everything you've done. Right. And as the, again, as you mentioned, it's like, it's similarly to life. It's not enough to just want something. You got to take action. And I wish it wasn't so, but it sure is. And in this case, we get to do fun stuff to make things happen. So in a sense, it's a little bit better than real life. Um, <laughs> but, but anyway, like we all have our coping mechanism. For some of us, it's puzzles here on Silent Hill Ascension. For others, it's the bottle like Toby and, you know, being plagued by his sister. For uh, Carl, it's comforting in the warmth of his old love, right, Mete? And, and Astrid, I don't know what's her serenity like. No, well, actually, you made a good point. Astrid doesn't get solace. Right. It's not really something we've seen in the story so far where Astrid just gets to chill, for lack of a better term. Except, the, I mean, she doesn't even go right to the the the, the ice hotel and, and relax in the bar. And we do, as you can see in the background, we're chilling in that ice hotel all, all the way in Norway. Clear, clearly, that's where we're geographically situated. Um, but, you know, she doesn't relax. She has no. to deal, you know, with like, she, she was counting on Carl essentially to take care of the matriarch of the family didn't happen, mm -hmm. tries to handle her son, doesn't happen that well. Um, and also, you know, tries to work and get all this stuff done. And it's just really, <laughs> really rough. It's really, really tough to be a single mother. And, you know, I bet Orson's father, wherever he may be, is like, thank God I left that family. Um, because the, this is a terrible, uh, it's a terrible life to live for Astrid where she has really no solace. Even though for most characters, what we refer to as solace is really just them like conspiracy, engaging in conspiration, the conspiracies, uh, pardon. <laughs> uh, we are very multicultural here in San Diego Ascension. Um, but uh, yeah, the, the relaxation we're talking about is like engaging in conspiracy theories at bars, really. Uh, very true. But but one of the things I wanted to, you know, call back at the scene here was, you know, the detective mentions again, we mentioned the family, the Johansson family. So so that keep, that's a theme that keeps coming up, right, is something happened. What's going on with the Johanssons? Um, I'd keep an eye on that. I won't go further, but I'd keep an eye on it because there's clearly something afoot there on how that is perceived. Now, the thing is, we kind of, uh, for, for the attentive of you out there, probably saw that we look, we were going to look at the decision graphic opening this day, but now we're going to put that back up on screen for a lovely production team, and Noah's going to walk you through that. Yeah, so we have to decide, uh, and this is not a fake decision, but still, nonetheless, a decision. And what will Astrid tell Carl about Ingrid's missing corpse? Whoops, your wife's body is gone. My mom, uh, well, her mom, thank God. Um, well, um, she can say everything is fine, which means lie. Or she can say we need to trust the police. Or she can say we can't trust the police. And this, I'm really interested where the audience is going to take this one. Because I'm really uh, interested in like, you know, if she lies, what does she have to gain really? Um, 
it's well, she still has to deal with that crap on her own, right? Like, no, I mean it's true. So, so one of the things that with the with the kind of fate hope the system, right? Is the fake decisions are the ones where we're letting you know because we want to let you know a little bit in advance what you're signing up for as an audience. This one, figure it out. You got to check what's going to go out. You got to go with what is Astrid actually going to tell Carl because fundamentally, you know, she like the trust that she has to give is very low. She's like, I need to take care of my child. And I don't know if I can trust this detective. I don't know if I can trust my father. So like the whole thing is a mess, a shambles. Um, but again, that tension is keeping to build up. And that's really the theme of uh, kind of our, our theme of the week here, right? It's the tensions building up. We're seeing really harrowing scenes, you know, uh, Rachel giving blood to find Toby, Toby like dealing with joy, uh, and just walking into the foundation, potentially, right? In the invited it. Um, and, and then we see that scene, right? Where, you know, Ingrid's body just mysteriously vanishes and, and Mete and Carl have a heart to heart at the bar. That was yesterday, by the way, if you did want to catch up on that. Um, so again, the tensions building, we're going to a place, uh, well, hopefully we get to return as an audience, but I don't think those characters are going to return the same. No, not the same, that's for sure. Um, but also, um, I think you do have some updates, right, for the audience? No, no, yeah, yeah, right, yes, that, that's the thing. So, so hopefully for all of you at home, you had a great time watching the story, trying to follow it, looking at how the tension is increasing, and I hope you enjoy where this is going to lead you. Now, uh, on Wednesdays, what we like to do is we like to talk to you about the development updates to make sure, uh, you're, you know, you're aware of what we're doing here uh, to improve your experience as we can go. So, so Noah, if you can read these uh, for us, please. Yeah, right. So we have uh, the updates we have for you today is we made some improvements to rallies and we have fate system updates. And we are adjusting uh, indoor boss encounters. So the bosses are coming, we're adjusting them. Eduardo, could you please explain more about all of this? Sure, and, and I'll be glad to do that and more. So, so with rallies, one of the things is we've seen that a lot of you in the audience do enjoy them, do want the options that are behind to catch up. So we want to make sure that the feature where essentially you get a multiplier as a community to your influence points as you battle back from, so to speak, a losing position are, are done better so that you have a better time and you believe that even if the vote, uh, sorry, the decision is really um, essentially quite separate, you get to catch back up. Um, now, uh, the, big, the big thing here, the fate system, again, I would start paying very close attention. I'm not gonna actually tell you 100% what those updates are because I want you to pay very close attention to your favorite characters, hopes and fates as we're building up this week. The Endure Boss. So uh, one of the things is we did listen to feedback from the audience. It wasn't uh, quite what we were hoping to deliver. So uh, kind of putting the cake back in the oven, so to speak. We made the Endure scenes shorter. That's also based on feedback from you, the audience. We want to make sure you have a great experience when you're with us live. So thanks to you for that feedback. A lot of you send it in at feedback at genvid.com. We love reading those. We love uh, being able to adapt to the experience to what you need. And again, the Endure bosses are part of that. We're hoping to make that experience the best it can possibly be. Uh, last things on the development updates, those weren't on the screens, but essentially there are other improvements that are more of a technical nature, things like the video, we want to improve the video player. We know that the experience on iOS has had some issues, so we want to make sure that experience gets improved as well. And there's a ton of ongoing work kind of on server stability, uh, something that, you know, uh, technical issues again, that we do want to address. Uh, so when you do, so, so the thing is when you're sending in kind of your, your, your reports of bugs and you're contacting us for the app, contacting us for feed, feedback at jetway.com with an issue you have, we do look at those. I see uh, my colleagues day after day seeing these and trying to address the issues. So thank you so much to the audience at home doing that. Thank you, audience. We love you. <laughs> but um, yeah, that reminds me. Um, can I talk about my favorite thing in the world, which is the puzzles? <laughs> Not if I don't talk about it first. So our production team is <laughs> going to throw up the arcane library. Um, so when you're so so one of the things here is. We're gonna close our, our potion in about a couple of minutes. 
when you're done, if you want to stick around, kind of get those. We talked about the mindfulness puzzles. We talked about the hope increasing. One of the ways, here's the Arcane Library. You get access to that in the front of the Silent Hill Ascension app. If you look at the top of the screen, there's actually a button to go towards mindfulness. So, uh, sorry, I'm mirrored here. So you get to see that uh, right there at the top there. You choose mindfulness. Uh, and once you pick mindfulness, that's going to lead you to essentially the mindfulness puzzles. So those are going to show up on screen. So you can see if you got the correct one. Here you go. That shows you the characters that are involved in the mindfulness puzzles today, what their hope currently is. So, you know, if you don't really like a character, you can always choose not to. But a lot of you love uh, very specific characters. You want to see their hopes go up. I would highly recommend going in there, affect the character's hope, and you can do that at your leisure, anytime. We don't, you, while we're not live, enjoy that time, do it at pace. You have all the time you need. These are always free because, you know, that was feedback that was put very early. We want to make sure that you had the chance to affect the story, no matter who you were. Now, uh, again, our, uh, we're going to recap all that with a little uh, graphic that our production team's going to put up. Essentially, um, the idea here is that every day there are two mindfulness puzzles that are available for free. Um, you also have an arcane library puzzle that's available for free every day. So that's if you just want to have a bit of fun. Um, don't don't worry. Uh, I'm going to throw it to somebody who has a lot of fun with those. Um, and we do rotate them. So keep checking day after day. Essentially, they shouldn't be the same ones you got a chance to take part in yesterday. So one of the secrets here, by the way, uh, with our uh, kind of hosted show with our hosts is Noah's actually a big fan of our puzzles specifically. <laughs> like one of the, she, while, uh, I'm gonna reveal behind the scenes stuff. While we're waiting to film, essentially, and be live with you at home, uh, Noah's actually playing the puzzles. So I'm gonna let her some time to share her love for it. Well, I'm really determined to make one of the uh, of the slides uh, work for me at some point um, and to affect Toby's hope that way. But so far, I'm really like, I love the shapeshifter one. It's so soothing. It's like my favorite thing in the world is to it this like connecting the dot thing. Is. And I really, but like I accidentally, I'm conflicted because I personally, right? This is my own personal, not production opinion. I don't want to raise Astrid Hope too much, but I really like playing this puzzle. So this is my personal battle to fight. Yeah, now, so, so not a fan of Astrid then, you know, huh? Not really, I don't know. Something's, something's weird, you know. The, the bad seed comes from a rotten um, tree? I don't know. Tree, uh, apple, it's all good, yes. It's, uh, something, huh? But uh, I don't trust her I, as far as I can throw her. No, and I, I mean, that's fair. Like, that's the thing, right? It's we all have our favorites, even honestly, uh, you know, certainly, uh, you know, when I'm representing our, our whole team at large, you, the audience at home, are the ones who pick. Again, you're the ones who choose where the story is going. It's up to you. But we all have our favorites here behind the scenes, and we all have outcomes we'd rather see. Uh, but they're all a little bit different. Each each person uh, kind of has different things. And one of the things is um, that you'll be able to hear more about it on Friday. So I'm going to essentially uh, quickly tell you before we head off a little bit of a recap. Essentially, uh, you've probably been following since the start, so I'm not going to recap the story too much. All you need to know: tensions are rising in Norway. Tensions are rising in Pennsylvania. So keep an eye out on what's going to happen. Uh, you can stick around, by the way, uh, after we're done here in the post show, go in those puzzles. The mindfulness puzzles are available for free for everybody. If you want to have some fun in the Arcane Library as well, you'll, there'll be something for you, for all users and for those who did get the Founders Pass or, or Season Pass, essentially, you do get a little bit more access there. Now, uh, our production uh, team is going to throw up what our next shows are going to be. So essentially here, you're gonna see that we come on for our pre-show, 5.40 p.m. Pacific, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, that's 8.40 p.m. Eastern. And if you're watching from, uh, you know, different time zones, no matter morning, afternoon, evening, or night, it is a great pleasure to have you on board with us live. The show is live every day at 6 p.m. Pacific. You get to see brand new scenes. And a little bit of a nice part, 
there will be an interview with Martin Montgomery, on uh, a creative, our creative director, on Friday. He's actually going to walk through how we design the narrative experience, uh, you know, the narrative experience behind a Silent Hill Ascension, and what you know, and how it's different um, to to what you typically see in, in in other entertainment platforms such as television or games. So please don't miss that interview. We have a little bit of a thing. I don't want to spoil too much again, but you'll you'll have a if you like looking at how narrative gets built you definitely should come and watch that interview live with us if you can thank you so much to all of you for watching it's always a great pleasure to be with you uh i'm gonna have to sign off though because that's the end of the poster so noah eduardo we're gonna both say bye to you we hope you have a fantastic morning afternoon evening or night wherever you are around the world bye-bye